Hey, you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Mm-hmm. Huh. Hey, you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. So, there is no anti-memetics division. Uh, SCP Horror, so Horror Short Series. Uh, episode 1 <clears throat> by Andrea Joshua Esnikar. So, uh, if I mispronounce that... Uh, I apologize wholeheartedly. We released an SCP film, a uh, short film. It's uh, uh, You all can go watch it. It's called uh, SCP Class R, which uh, I, uh, I released. And when I did, I didn't know what was going to happen. I did not know that this series was going to be coming out just about over a month or so later. And this, I will say this. Everyone on the SCP forums is talking about this now. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the creator, Andrea, has basically been creating SCP stuff for the last year or so, I believe. And his stuff is pretty well regarded. And it has, has it got a lot of attention. But this, this is something else. Because this is going to a level I don't think anyone expected. The reason why I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk about this is because, well, we are, you know, we're going to be making more films and SCP-related content on our film channel, which uh, you all can go check out, by the way. We are very rapidly approaching 2,000 subs on there, and uh, we also are probably going to be working on releasing the next parts of the SCP Class R series as we move forward. I wanted to come on here and I wanted to show my appreciation for uh, Andrea and also not only that, but Sherman from Site42 and everyone else who uh, has like made SCP Class R over the last uh, week or so blow up in terms of popularity because we were sitting at about, I think, 2,000 views and then right before this dropped, all of a sudden like our numbers started to go up and then this came out and then our numbers blew through the roof. And now we're at, I think we're at over 16,000 views on there and over 1,500 likes, which is way more than I ever expected. Way, way, way more than I ever expected at all for this. And uh, Andrea com uh, commented on our What is Next for SCP Class R video, uh, basically saying that he was excited to see what we were going to do next. So I figured, let's watch uh, There Is No Anti-Memetics Division, Episode 1, and give our honest opinion on what we think. So here's the thing about about SCP is like it's not for everybody, but just go into this with an open mind and go into this. It's okay to not know everything what's going on because honestly, the more we find out, the more is explained. The like the more you'll understand like the overall story. Hmm. So <clears throat> anyway, we have here uh, the first episode. Let's get it up on screen. And, uh, yeah, before we, before we react to this, you all need to go watch the original right now. Link to it will be in the description, or it will be... You can actually click on uh, uh, Andrea's uh, name in the title of the video and go to his channel and watch this for yourself. Then you can come back and you can, react, you can watch us react to it and give our opinions. So I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, moving on. The SCP Foundation is a top secret organization tasked with the containment of supernatural objects. Then this foundation is the Anti-Memetics Division and deals with anti-memes, which are essentially informational black holes, preventing any knowledge about them from being retained or... Oh, never mind. You gotta go faster. I should have read faster, yeah. Can I smoke? No, you... No, you can't smoke anywhere on Site 200. I've asked you that before, haven't I? Twice. Mm -hmm. In the last 15 minutes. through now I say I love this set I wonder where they filmed this at um 
judging by his glasses, I think the wall in the background was actually green screen. You think so? Mm -hmm. Look really close at his glasses when he's turning his head. Specifically the, the side of his glasses minutes. that are uh, further away in that yeah. last shot. Keep going. He stamped it twice. Yeah. Well, no, he didn't stamp it twice. He stamped it once. It's just because of... Right there. See? See how his glasses disappear? Oh. Maybe. Maybe. If that's the case, it's a good green screen effect. It's a really good green screen effect. Marion, you can come through now. Is a Andrea, uh, was that... Oh, wait. I saw. I saw something. Right there. Look around him. Look around his silhouette. Yep. Yeah, you can tell right there. He's it's chroma keyed. Yeah, which it's okay. I mean, it, honestly, either either it Let's is. Let's not or, nitpick it. Let's just watch it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll we'll we'll nitpick afterwards. Sorry. We're wasting Kate's time. That's not what I said. I'm joking, Kate. Come on, I'm joking. So what's this about? All I got was a meeting invitation. No agenda or anything. I mean, I know if I says jump, you jump, but... Damn. That's rude. Didn't even say hello. Just gun. Not nice. Again. Hmm. Hello, my first day. Alistair Gray with an E. Hmm. Oh. Paul. Uh. Are you the site director? You seem a little on edge, young man. That, uh, figures? <laughs> Just show up on my first day and they drop an atom bomb on me. Turns out my whole life I have been protected from dangerous knowledge, from the truth about what is really out there. Like the entire outside world is a childcare center. What they showed me in there, Sounds about right. how could any of that be real? Hmm. The, the supernatural, it is meant to be fiction and you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer mine. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I'm Paul, I'm from... I'm from... You used to speak four languages. One now, and soon, zero. You loved anthropology, but there's too much world for one human race to ever understand. There's too much human race. We should bear it down. Hmm. Excuse me, uh, j just for, for a moment. Hey, um, there's, there's an, uh, an intruder. Uh, I, I think it might be a, um, no, what do you call it, a, an, an SCP. Hey, doghead. Hello, um, intruder. SCP, secure, contain, and protect the, the bad thing? No, there's, there's one right over there. Doc, come on. Nobody can... Hey, 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 people, people, hey, look at me, look at me! Hey, hey, guys, come on! Where he shook his hand. No. No, 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 no. Where he shook his hand, I bet. 49. Loving husband. Two boys. Full foundation credentials, which we never issued, including access to installations and rooms, which don't exist. 
At least not yet. That's before we get to your access control lists, which I can only term as a gracious. She's a spy. Let's get this over with. Oh, you dullard. I'm your chief of anti-memetics. We don't have an anti-memetics division. We have a memetics division, a telecontainment division, Ops A, Ops B, personnel, D personnel, two dozen others. But we don't have an anti-memetic division. Do we have an irony division? No? All right. We'll try this. Why do you think the anti-memetics division would show up in the listing? It's a division of the forgotten. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. There are SCPs that get into your mind and infect other minds. Contagious concepts that require containment like any physical threat. Secure, contain, protect. Right. Then, there are the other ones. Entities and phenomena that harvest and consume information, particularly about themselves. Ideas that consume other ideas, that hmm. eat segments of reality. Parasitic. Even people. Do you get it yet? There aren't any dangerous SCPs on this site, so either you're not dangerous, or nobody knows you exist. You're either brand new or... You seem on edge. What's an anti mean? Hell of a first day. <laughs> uh -huh. That was a great shot. That was a great VFX shot. He's super creepy. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's doing a good job acting like... Uncanny. I'm gonna be behind you. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't recognize me, son. Come on. Come on. Uh, Start your anti-memetic tags. Here, SCP 4739. If you're reading this, you've already been isolated from the Foundation at large. Attempts to signal for help are futile. You are now inside 4739's gullet. You need to get to lab S41. Continue the research until you find a way to stop or kill Gray before he kills you. Bye. Crap. <laughs> oh. You seem on edge, young man. Oh, God. <laughs> Search, nothing works. People have tried to engage with him physically and kill him using weapons. Doesn't work. They have tried feeding him memories to overload him. Doesn't work. They've, they've tried sacrificing other people to save themselves. Doesn't work. 
So that's it. I'm fucked. Kind of sounds that way. Yeah. How do you retain this knowledge if the information is constantly eating itself? These are class W nestics, the weakest type, suitable for continual use. One pill per day. Why don't we have those? You do. You forgot to take a pill, and then you forgot all the information that the pills were helping you to retain. You forgot about me and my entire department. How many other anti-memes are there? Ten that I know of. Probably at least five more. Two in this room at this very moment. Mm -hmm. Don't bother looking. It's pointless. There's one right here. It's like a demanding pet that eats my memories instead of food. But I've learned to control it. Mm. Where's the other one? You can't skip a dose of Nestic. You can't forget to take a pill unless someone prevents you actively from taking it. Take As ever, the search for stalemate continues. I'll let you know if we get any closer. Take one of these and call me in the morning. <laughs> Basically. Okay. I like that whole thing. The only reason she was called in was because he forgot she existed, basically. Yeah. Which obviously automatically tells her exactly what's going on, and it's got to be annoying every time that happens, because it probably happens on a That's regular basis. <laughs> That's so much a solid block of information has got to be something new. So. Hell of a first day! A solid, solid block of information. Solid. He threw his phone. An info weapon. Well, that's the thing. He threw his phone and his phone made contact. Yeah, like the plate didn't, but his phone did somehow. It's because his phone contained an an inhuman amount of information you think about it mm. because there's no way in hell we can remember every name every list everything that these can contain mm. so if it's something more on it than what's capable from the human brain it's not able to like to absorb it exactly <laughs> So he's gonna Hell build, first day. like, essentially a big ass hard drive bat you to hit him with. Edge, young man. Yeah. Or a flail. Hell yeah. Hell of a first day. Now run. Nah, I think he's gonna keep beating him with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was chewing its way up the anti-memetics division hierarchy. Congratulations on demonstrating a basic level of competency where dozens of others couldn't. I want to say it was dumb luck. I want to say I threw my phone and realized information hurt him. It was my first day and I got lucky as hell. I want to say those things, but none of them would be true would they this isn't my first day i've probably been working here for for what 10 years instinct and muscle memory are just deep forms of training the ability to piece your life back together and all your past knowledge that's what we drill into you this isn't the first time you've seen me put myself back together is it and it ain't gotten old yet so what now? I need you to update everything you know about Gray and his predatory patterns. I need countermeasures for when it comes back. 
So it's not dead. Wait, I know this one. Ideas don't die. Hmm. hmm. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Very well done. Very, very well done. And quite the... Uh, <laughs> there's an anti medic division. Yeah, so basically... Every part of this was just so well done. Uh, I mean, see, Alistair Gray. That dude was creepy. Yeah. Gray, he was creepy. Gave off a gave off a hell of a like a visage to himself. He uh, reminded me of um, it's Agent Smith. Yes. From, from uh, Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. yeah kind of a little bit. Uh, in terms of his like. It's very, like he's very human, delivery. but very unhuman at the same time. Like he, a, he acted in an uncanny way very well. He's trying too hard to be human mm. and to be relatable. It's like hell of a first day. Great, yeah, great overall casting and just. I mean, honestly, this was just a very well done, a very well done short. And this is just uh, episode one because. Uh, apparently, there's going to be four of these, and they are going to be released oh, like every Wednesday. Hmm. So that's really cool. Yeah, they're going to be released every Wednesday, like for the next few weeks. So I guess we got something to look forward to because tomorrow's Wednesday. So oh, coming out tomorrow. Premiere, yeah. So there's there's the second episode. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So. <laughs> that must be why everybody's hyped is because he managed to get the series ready before he started releasing them. That's yeah, and if I had my choice, I would have done that too. Yeah, I wish like, I could have done that. Uh, it just took us so long to get just episode one done, you know. It did, but at the same time, it's just it's like we learned a lot from that, and also it was the hardest one to do in terms of like what we're wanting to do. The next one is going to be a little difficult, but nowhere near as much VFX. Yeah. Nowhere near as much. But still very effective, because Aldo, when he sent me the script, I wasn't sure how far he was going to go with it. And there's parts where he goes pretty far, but when I imagine it in my mind's eye, you can play tricks with light and, you know, sleight of hand and stuff like that. And I'm like, I when I saw how some people pulled it off in films, I'm like, interesting. We could do to, that too. I have to say, by the way, go back to the scene where he was uh, talk first talking to Gray real quick. Oh, in the uh, lunchroom? Yeah, like right there. Yeah. Um, that set I really like because I am willing to bet you a shiny nickel that he played, he, either him or the set designers or both have played Control. Yeah. Because this area looks so much like an area from Control. I think they took inspiration for what they were going to make their, well, inside of their lunchroom look okay, like and from it. Okay, and quick question, Nick. What does Control take its inspiration it's from? based off SCP. Exactly. Yeah. So they so they are linked together. They, mm. play, they play off each other. And I mean, I don't know if Control took its environmental design from something else that had been made in the SCP universe or not but like it's the first thing I saw that really built the entire like building to look like a certain aesthetic in a lot of places yeah and that's kind of the same aesthetic that they got going on here <laughs> I and honestly I love the set I love the set design here I love I I, I know this is probably a uh, I know this is probably a a, a, a building somewhere and they got permission to hang up like SCP Foundation stuff, like the like the warning posters here. I honestly, it looks very clean. It looks like a very clean lunchroom, like very well organized. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what all they had to like, like what all they had to do, like right here. Like I guarantee you, this is like a sleeve over top of like a floor kiosk that they have. Like, you know, it's just like a... It's not the same shot I'm thinking of, but that's what their cafeteria looks like in the yeah. oldest house in control. It, except that one, there's a lot of reds. There's a mm. lot of red and, like, like gray concrete, whereas here, it's more cool colors, like you know? Like, the way that the ceilings are built to, like, come out to where there's, like, balconies up above, it looks yes. like, and stuff like that. Um, there's, like, uh, back where that elevator door is... Um, it just reminds me of the same layout. There's like a bathroom to one wall, but then there's like a bunker 
they have these little bunkers in the oldest house that you can get inside of to protect yourself from like anomalies sudden cha suddenly changing through the house because the house itself the building isn't an anomaly itself mm. yeah and they use it to protect uh, everything inside from people just wandering by because you can't find the oldest house unless you're looking for it hmm interesting yeah and with this uh, the feeling I got from this is very tongue in cheek it's there, there, there's very good dry humor in this, and there's stuff that, you know, makes you laugh. Um, very well balanced. I felt like it was a very well balanced in terms of, like, this guy here, I wasn't sure about him in the beginning, but then his actions make sense as to why he's, like, he is, like, performing the way that he is. Um, as for, uh, as for, like, Marion, you know, the head of the anti-memetics division, once again, calm, cool, and collected as you need to be whenever you're head of a division that basically erases everybody's memories. Because it's just like, you have to have patience with them because this is, for her guarantee, she's like, I've seen this so many times, it's nauseating how many times I've had to see people rebuild themselves. I like her uh, acting a lot too. She's oh, really, yeah, yeah, she, she was, was awesome. And uh, she she's also tremendous. reminds me of kind of a combination of a couple of the characters in Control. Yeah. So it's just... Uh, but yeah, like especially like really everybody in this, like everybody knocked it out of the park on their acting, I think. I think so too. There's there's a few here and there. It's just like, you know, just like some readings that maybe I think could have been, you know, like another take or two could have been done. But overall, I mean, like as it is, I mean, I, I felt the same way about our film because whenever I go back and I hear like some of the, like my readings or, or, uh, or uh, Chuck's readings or, uh, Marcus's readings, I'm just like, they're good, but I know I probably could have gotten something better out of it if we would have done, like, a few more takes. Because, that's the thing, it's, I don't want to overdo it and, like, do too many takes. I'm not, I'm not freaking Stanley Kubrick. I'm not going to be, like, having, like, you reread the same line a thousand times. Literally, he drove one of his actors so crazy, he quit on day one because he made him reread the same line, like, a thousand times. Mm. One line! Ugh. But, anyway... Yeah, this was this was amazing. This was really good. I mean, Andrea, I I applaud you for the work that you've done with this. I mean, everyone who's involved from top to bottom, uh, from like <laughs> all of the uh, like like just everything, dude. There's not really any problem I have here. Uh, I'm looking at the set, the staff here, dude. This is this is a hell of a staff that they got. This like that's like. Two to three times as many people as we had. <laughs> yeah, Especially the, the set dressers, dude. Oh my the gosh. Thumbnail for that premiere for episode two, by the way. Like I'm just like, ooh. That's pretty that hardcore. Looks, looks crazy. Yeah. We're gonna have to watch that probably on Thursday whenever uh whenever that comes out. So Yeah, I'm pretty excited, like, to hear that he's releasing new episodes every week because I'm just like, whoa. Yeah. Way better than us, where there's no real timetable, but I'm hoping we'll have normally the next... I would watch something like this and I would be like, I want more. And I'm like, we're going to have to probably wait forever to get more, though. And I'm like, we'll get more every week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It, anyway, I am going to... Uh, actually, it's been a long time coming, but I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to Andrea. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, leave a comment down here. Tremendous. Tremendous work. Love, loved it all, all the way through very excited to see more each week very excited to see more anything you want to add kate mm -mm. okay mm -mm. okay there you go <laughs> sorry sorry i was joking i literally just typed in mm -mm. just sorry anyway there we go left it on there so here's to hoping that uh so is um sherman working with him to do these no Sherman uh, Sherman reacted to this just like he did ours. So and, didn't I see that they said that they were in Site 42? In, no, Site 41. In episode, oh, it was 41. Yeah, okay. Site 41. Right. There's uh, Site 200 that they talked about in the beginning. It's like, there are no, like, there's, that's not allowed in Site uh, Site 200. Okay. And then in the elevator, we see, uh, we see Site 41 written behind him on the board right uh, there. 41, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so just one number short of site 40. Yeah, so you got lucky, Sherman. You, you got lucky. Uh, anyway, so 
That's going to do it, everybody. Sherman's probably like, man, I'm really glad that Site-42 doesn't have an anti-memetics division. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's the unfortunate thing <laughs> yeah Sherman's literally just gonna be like oh my god oh wait or does it <laughs> oh crap <laughs> yeah Sherman Sherman please you have to have, you have to answer or, or, or don't if you don't know I mean is there an anti-memetics division at site 42 <laughs> what I do know is that this video must end and I want to thank everyone for sticking with us through this. And once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And we hope to see more of There Is No anti memetics Division on here. And cannot wait for Andrea to to keep at it. And hope and this just gives me more inspiration to keep going with ours as well. Because, you know, a lot of people would see something like this by comparison and get disheartened. But me, no. I know ours is not on the same level because of just, like, the amount of, like, it's di it's different strokes for different folks. There's a lot ours of Ours is not on the same level because he's made a bunch of things before this. So yeah. I mean, like, well, I, it's he's just got a inspiration lot more as to, like, what we could end up pulling off if we keep going in the future, you know? Well, yeah, he's got a lot more experience than we do. And I hope that, I hope that he does keep going. I mean, if the, if he makes no more SCP stuff after the anti memetics division, I think that'll be, I think I'll be cool with that. Because he's made his mark. But, anywho. That's going to do it, everyone. So, this, once again, was There Is No anti Medics Division, Episode 1, by Andrea Joshua Asnikar. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.